power cut is what to do before you call out the electrician. Power's just been cut. Go to the fuse box. Power cut. Well, the budgies on. The budgies are still on. Okay, so what you do? You go to the fuse box. Yeah. And you look what's tripped in there, the RCD's tripped. Yeah. Try and put the RCD on, it won't go on. Yeah, it won't go on. So everything's off. Okay, so what you do next is you pull everything down, you see what's tripping. And fingers crossed, the RCD. CD should come on, if not you've got a bigger problem. Okay, the RCD's on. Uh, looks like I've got lights on. Lights are on. Top floor lights. Lights. So this light should come on. Yes, the lights are on a separate circuit. They're not on RCD. They're on a separate one. Alright, so we've got some lights. Okay, so now the RCD's on. What we do is put them on one by one. I think I suspect it's the sockets, downstairs sockets. But let's put them on. On. Oh, that's the fridge. That's the garage then. There's the fridge on. It just beeped. Yeah. Fridge is on. Freezer, not fridge. Uh, I suspect there's going to be the sockets, something plugged in. Right, next one is, that's the sockets. I think these are the downstairs sockets. Uh, cooker. Okay. So what's going to happen? It's going to trip. There, it's gone. Everything's gone off again. Fridge is off. So... Something plugged in downstairs, or it could be. I know what. Turn everything off. Put that on, and just turn the downstairs socket on. Oh, it's tripped. All right then. So, problem with the downstairs sockets. Something plugged in, or there's a ground leak uh, what's it called ground to earth leak some milliamps that's what trips the rcd trips because there's a, a leak a leakage something plugged in that's leaking current to ground that's what trips the rcd it could be usually something plugged in so i'm gonna do uh culprits usually extension sockets fridges but it's the downstairs. It's no, it's not going on. It's not going on. Okay, so next step is to unplug stuff. I can plug the freezer in. All oh, these are all right. The freezer on. Oh, the RCD's not on. Okay, so the rest of the house is on, including the garage and the freezer, but the downstairs ring uh, is not on. So it's tripping. What is it? Is it wiring? Or is it something plugged in? And what's plugged in? That's the question to find out. I only know by unplugging stuff and then turning the RCD on and see if it stays on. Alright, so let's go and unplug stuff. Yeah. Unplug stuff. Yeah. I'll start with the uh, I'll start with this. Right, you got a socket there, you got Lord, I think it's something to do with these extensions. I've got an extension. I've got one, two, 
One, two, three, four, five extensions in there. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna turn it up. Reach off. There. There. That one's off. Yeah, well, another one there. Look, another one. Let's, see we, let's unplug that one. So that's the TV and Sky Off, and that was basically three monitors, Wi Fi, speakers, and I don't know what else it's got plugged in. But all right, let's see if it comes on. I know it's that before I go to the other rooms. All right, is it gonna? Are we gonna get? Is it gonna trip? Bugger. Let's turn these off. It's tripping, okay. Probably what it is. There's lots of electronics that leak a little bit of current to ground. It's like the sum of all. So what's next? Turn the central heating off. Everything off in the kitchen. Let's try that next. Kitchen. Okay. Turn everything off. What are you doing up there? Right, let's turn. Are you off? There. On. What's the smoke then? Turn the central heating off. Hey, let's see if it comes on. Oh, the fridge. Should unplug the fridge. All right, let's try it without that. So you got the. Let's turn everything off in the kitchen. Guys, I have to turn you off. I'll try and track down. I don't want to become an electrician. Yeah, I should become an electrician. Yeah, I'll leave that on for now. All right. Now is the downstairs socket going to come off? So, alright, let's turn RCD on. Come on, don't trip. Oh, it's still a. Oh. Although they, they say you should unplug. Oh, oh. Test it. Staying on. Okay. We have solved it. <sighs> right, so I know it's kitchen and related to what's sockets in my room because it'll be a little bit of drain from you know the computer everything gives a little bit of current drain that's to protect the electronics and you need a, a current current meter to measure what the drain is so you can track down exactly what is doing the drain but at least now I've tracked it down to the kitchen or the centrally in kitchen and though and what I've just unplugged like those three sockets I should yeah I should uh, sort out those sockets anyway electrics are back on next is to plug everything in and see if it still trips okay let's try with the kitchen first is it gonna trip all right it should be working now Why is it full of smoke? What are you done? Alright, what were you using? Were you using that when it went? It was already off. Right, let's, let's, let's turn the boiler on. And if you put, if you put load, it could be this. So there, that's how you troubleshoot electrics. You got the big fat fryer on, microwave on. Don't turn them on. Keep them off until you need them. You've got the lizers back on. And uh, what else?
turn this light on. Oh, I'm not full. So, it was what ticked. So what it? What was it then? Is it that socket in my room? Let's have a look. I don't think it was the TV in the sky box. I suspect it was this wires. All these I've got three plugged into one outlet. One this like <laughs> got the feeds another socket that feeds another socket uh, extension lead under the desk. I've got to sort that out. I think it's to do with these these extensions. No. Uh, Good trip. I need to sort this out now. What I need is a current meter, and luckily, I bought one. This is not the first time it's tripped. Delivered. Where is it? This is what? Okay, where is it? Is this it? Yeah, there it is. Just delivered the timing because it keeps tripping. And that'll be my next video. We see if it'll work. It says cheap one, I think about 50 quid. See if that can track it down. If it's of any use. Remember to subscribe for a new video there. Alright. So I'll check this out in the next video, see if it's. Shows enough current milliamps.